standing desks are becoming popular at work as more employees choose to stay on their feet. And now the trend moving from the office to the classroom. And the newsroom. We, we stand That's through right. this. Love it. Well, Maria Villarreal found an elementary school that will soon be the first in the country to have standing desks everywhere. And we're going to lunge down. At Vallecito Elementary School in San Rafael, California, motivating students to move is more than just their morning routine. It's an all-day commitment that starts with these standing desks. How does it help you focus? It burns off most, lots of my energy so I can re concentrate without wiggling around like in the chairs. 19 of Alicito's 22 classrooms have standing desks. The last three will be converted by the end of the year. Studies show allowing kids to move during the day can improve grades up to 15 percent and helps kids burn up to 25 percent more calories. You increase your muscle tone in your legs. There seems to be um, an improvement in actually circulation and arterial function. And of course, expending uh, a few calories extra every hour uh, can lead to big changes. But those big changes can come with a big price tag. It can cost up to $6,000 to convert a single classroom. We definitely have our work cut out for us. Juliet Starrett, who started the program at Vallecito, hopes to keep her movement going. She started Stand Up Kids, an organization working with corporate and individual donors to raise money. Our mission is to get every kid in public school standing in 10 years. Mireya Villarreal, San Rafael, California. Sign me up. I yeah. would drink less coffee. I'm like, convinced. I, I like sitting. Yeah. I like sitting. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs>